The sun. The source of life, of our pale blue dot in the cosmos. But lately, it has been acting strange. It has released the highest energy radiation ever documented. What will happen if the life-giving source, becomes a destructive force? Will the blessing of the sun, turn into a curse? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. In a record-breaking discovery, scientists detected our very own sun emitting an extraordinary amount of gamma rays, wavelengths of light known to carry the most energy of any other wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum. To be exact, it's one trillion electron volts. Meher Nisa, a postdoctoral research associate at Michigan State University has said, when we first saw it, we were like, we definitely messed this up, the sun cannot be this bright at these energies. However, after some consideration, the researchers concluded that such brightness was genuine and was merely a result of the massive number of gamma rays the sun appeared to be spewing out. The sun is more surprising than we knew, Nisa said. No need to worry as these rays are harmless to us. However, they can have a significant impact on solar physics in the long run. In fact, they have already brought up several significant issues with the sun, such as what possible significance the sun's magnetic field may have in the recently discovered gamma ray phenomenon. But only that isn't the strange part about the sun. Recently, a piece of the sun's northern pole broke off and has been captured by NASA in a never-before-seen event that has baffled scientists. A video shows a giant filament of plasma, or electrified gas, shooting out from the sun, separating and then circulating in a massive polar vortex. While astronomers are baffled, they speculate the prominence has something to do with the reversal of the sun's magnetic field that happens once every solar cycle. What's going on? Scientists were left baffled after material broke off of the sun's surface and created a tornado-like swirl around its northern pole. The remarkable phenomenon was caught by NASA on the James Webb Space Telescope and tweeted by Dr. Tammy the Skov, a space weather forecaster. Talk about polar vortex, she wrote last week. Material from a northern prominence just broke away from the main filament and is now circulating in a massive polar vortex around the north pole of our star. Implications for understanding the sun's atmospheric dynamics above 55 degrees here cannot be overstated. Unusual activity typically occurs at the sun's 55 degree latitudes once every 11 year solar cycle, according to experts, but this incident is stumping researchers. A prominence is a large, bright feature that extends outward from the sun's surface. Other filament tearaways have been observed in the past, not like this, though. While experts admit it probably has something to do with the sun's magnetic field, the rest remains a mystery due to humanity's limited view of its star. Scientists can only view the sun from the ecliptic plane, or the geometric plane that contains the orbit of Earth. The European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter mission, which is taking photos of the sun while raising its orbit beyond the ecliptic plane might provide answers, but until then, researchers are left scratching their heads. Just this month, the sun projected multiple, powerful, flares that disrupted communication on Earth, according to Space.com, although it appeared to be otherwise harmless. The sun is en route to reaching its peak of activity during the current 11-year cycle in 2025. While scientists are baffled, weird things have been going on with the sun in the last couple of decades. Maybe it is because of the observation prowess we have developed in the recent years, or it could be, that we do not know a lot about the sun. Such instances also remind of what happened at the Sunspot Sola Observatory. 85 miles southwest of Roswell, New Mexico, where flying objects were spotted in 1947, sparking theories they could have been aliens or UFOs, a tiny white object can be seen above the trees at the crest of the Sacramento Mountains. This is the Dunn Solar Telescope of the Sunspot Solar Observatory, a facility dedicated to studying the sun. Now let's go back in time. September 6, 2018, FBI agents on board Black Hawk helicopters are on a secret mission, as they swoop over the Lincoln Forest Mountains in New Mexico. Their target, the Sunspot Solar Observatory, that is used by NASA to keep an eye on the sun. As soon as they reach the place, they swarm in and shut down the observatory. 
Soon, serious-looking agents arrived in unmarked vehicles and quickly spread out across the area. No information was given to those being evacuated about what was going on, they were simply asked to leave. Even the sheriff and the local police were left in the dark. The employees were silenced, and made to sign secrecy agreements. And only after 11 days, was the lockdown lifted. The FBI issued a statement saying that they were investigating one of the facility's janitors for possession and distribution of pornography. The person was said to have been fired, however, was not arrested or charged with any crime. But many, even till this day, find the janitor story a cover-up. So that makes you wonder, did they see something through that observatory that they shouldn't have? Or, did they do it to stop the observatory from seeing something during the time it was shut down? Some feared that NASA may have observed the sun shrinking in size, which is the beginning of its end before it turns into a red giant, swallows Earth and goes supernova. But follow-up observations over the years from other observatories show that our sun is absolutely fine. Then what could possibly be the reason? It is strange that the FBI had enough information to go to the location and shut it down for 11 days while they investigated, and yet didn't make an arrest? Majority of the people believe this was a massive cover-up for something much bigger. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Launched in October 2006, the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, or STEREO, has provided scientists a unique and revolutionary view of the Sun-Earth system. Composed of two nearly identical observatories, STEREO has traced the flow of energy and matter from the Sun to Earth. Orbiting the Sun at 95 miles from above its surface, it helped us keep an eye on our star using ultraviolet and X-ray light. But on March 13, 2020, the twin telescopes captured something that set the Internet on fire. You see the Sun here, along with Venus and Earth, when suddenly, what looks like an imposter, enters the screen. If you watch it in slow motion, you can see that the unidentified object looks like a wheel with spokes, and not just that, it looks like it is launching something at the sun, or extracting something from it, like a spacecraft fueling itself. However, based on how it appears here, the object would be bigger than Jupiter. Such a big object will have its own gravity, and that would throw the Earth off its orbit. Therefore, we can easily rule out that it is a spacecraft. Also, it is not a solar flare, or plasma discharge. Then what is it? If you notice, the wheel moves at the same speed but in the opposite direction as Venus does, which suggests that it is nothing but Venus's reflection. The reason it looks like a wheel is because the light is bouncing off the camera and creating a ghost image. You gotta give it to this optical illusion. It looked more real than a real wheel-shaped spacecraft would. But what about this footage right here? This footage is from NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory on May 5, 2022. What is strange about this footage is that NASA abruptly ended the live stream somewhere around here. Now, conspiracy theorists are saying that this is a cube, but to anyone familiar, this looks like a solar flare, and it is so huge that it could gobble up Earth whole. But is striking here, is the rectangle shape that appears just before the solar flare is spotted and then the live stream ends. Was that a glitch? Or was that something we weren't supposed to see? NASA did mention that their Helio viewer would be down for schedule maintenance on that day, but that black rectangle appearing just before the live stream? Look at this thing. Is that a technical glitch? A camera fault? Time after time, we have seen some bizarre sightings around the sun NASA has explained them as natural phenomena, like solar flares, plasma discharge, or comets. But there are so many things that we still do not know about the sun. Is the recent radiation really the source from the sun or there are other unseen forces in play? What do you say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.